Captain, hop along. Cassidy told me to be on the lookout for this yearling. <laughs> hey, not inside. Get up on the seat. Give me your bag. Yeah, boy. Don't turn your passenger loose till you get to Sentinel Rocks. You're told the convict the warden was glad to get rid of. Convict? I better get my gun. Don't bother, Sonny. Here, you can hold this. Yeah, babe, Eddie. Yep. Five years in the pen won't cure an outlaw like that one. I'm afraid we're in for more trouble. Hello, fellas. How you been? Hi. Hello, Sheriff. What do we have for? Well, now, I'll tell you. You men remember what happened up there five years ago? And the party responsible for that fracas is heading in here on the stage. What can we do about it? We don't want a pack of outlaws rusting and killing around here again. Now, will you fellas stick with me with what I have to do? We'll string along with you, Sheriff. We'll string along, boy. Good. Yeah. Hop along, Cassidy. Hi, Holly. How come you're in the Sentinels, Casty? Ah, uh, Buck's nephew's coming in on the stage. Yeah, Ikey Ball is a pest. We have to suffer with him every summer. He comes with the mosquitoes, only he's worse. <laughs> what are you all doing around here? Legal business. The people who aim to meet you aren't here. I ordered them back. You're staying on the coach and going south to Nogales. What do you expect me to do at the border? There's plenty of dance halls on the other side. You'll get along. Stay right where you are and nobody will get hurt. Lucky, untie my horse. Listen here, Cassidy. They'll head out. But how long you get? Get while the going's good. Good luck, Miss Starr. Thanks. Castor, you obstructed the law. You better shake the kinks out of your legal rope. Belle paid for what she'd done with five years of her life. She's earned her freedom. There's times when a peace officer has to make his own law. Yeah, but it'd have been better if he'd kept her in the pen than to send her into them no-gallus dance holes. Hoppy? Someday you'll be sorry you interfered. Come on, man. I'll see him again when he comes after you, beautiful. Yeah, and I got some change coming. Yeah? Two pesos. There you are. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What is it? Mix half dimes. Well, that ain't no good. That's what I told the fellow that passed them on me. Well, what am I going to do with them? Go to Mexico. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, come on back here, you sharp twin eyed horse thief. Well, if I ain't a weak minded, wobble brained, simple Simon, whistled by a no count ornery mule skinner. Oh. Gee, and I thought all the time that that outlaw would be some humbrew with whiskers and horse pistols. Hey, wake up! Huh? Why'd Bellstar go to prison? That happened before I joined up with the Bar 20. Hoppy? Yeah? Why are people around here scared of a woman? Oh, it's kind of a long story, aren't it? See, Belle was Jack Starr's wife, and he was a wrestler. Maybe she knew and maybe not. But when them vigilantes rode up in the Gunsmoke Canyon, they aimed to put a California collar on Jack. What's a California collar? Oh. She walked right beside her husband, her guns blazing fast and straight, till he dropped. Yep. She stuck right with him. Right or wrong. Some women are like that. Yeah, she got plenty of nuts on her gun. She's bad medicine. Yeah, then what'd you help her for? You keep your eyes in the right direction, you won't have to ask why. Yeah, besides, Bell stars twice your age. Ah, oh, you can't make me believe that. Listen, when I argue if I was a nitwit, I don't aim to owe him nothing. So I'm gonna pay you that two dollars I've owed you for the last year. All at once? In cash? Hey, yeah. Now we're square. Hey, these are no good. Yeah. That's what I told the fella to fast them on me. Well, you <laughs> doggone old pirate. <laughs> That's the best you got for me, Bill? What did you expect? Where'd you get the horse? Sure, he's not dead yet. A man named Cassidy. Hop along? Yes. Well, we started out to meet you, but Sheriff Hawley heard at his back. Yes, I know. Yeah, I couldn't take a chance on account of Jacqueline being with me. Just to find you here, darling. I wanted to be the first to meet you. He brought me in from the convent. My sweet. We're just going to forget the last few years of our lives, aren't we? Yes, Mother. You'll find things better at the ranch than when you left. Race you home. I'll beat you. Get out of here. You got a sore double where you wear my hardest. And I don't mean your knees. Da, 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 da. I'm just the poor cowboy that nobody loves. I straddle my saddle all day and sing to the doggies, the deer and the dove, to pass the long hours away. Oh, no one to love me and no one to care. If Injun should scalp me and take all my hair, though killed by a grizzly or rattlesnake sting, I'll warble this song as I cash in my string. Oh, pity me, maiden, and kiss my cold nose as I'm laid on the wide prairie. For the poor lonesome cowboy has turned up his toes with no one to care or to see. Who in the heck would want to kiss your cold nose? Had to rhyme, didn't it? You could have turned up your nose and had her kiss your toes. That's what poets call whimsy. What that song needs is a little whimsy. Gets better as it goes along. Though the coyotes may howl and the lobos may growl and the buzzards pick my bones white, 
I'll jump out of my grave just to straddle a cloud and sing as I ride through the night. Oh! Oh, my gosh! Quiet. You're too young to know anything about music. Is that so? I'm not too young to know what's wrong with you. <laughs> oh, pity me, maiden, and kiss me. Tom Cat! You better take I'm Lucky off Moat Hoppy and turn him out to grass. For the what are you yelling about? Who's yelling? Up his toes with no one to care or to see. Oh, no one to love me. Not and a no bad one idea, Pat. If Injun should scalp me and take all my hair, go killed by a grizzly. Hey, hop along. Buck Peters wants to see you. And Prano. Okay. See you later, Wendy. Yeah. Say, that twister's pretty salty. Yeah. Right almost as good as you. Oh, yeah? Hey, where's your pants? Tomorrow's safe to see out of my eyes away at school. Wendy's making me a new pair for two dollars. Have you got two dollars? Sure. Paper money. And a deuce. Say, that's bad luck. To anybody but me. Here, you pay Winnie in this hard money. This chicken feed any good? Well, if it ain't, Winnie sure cheated me. All right. Here you pass. Here's your money. Oh, pity me, maiden, and kiss my cold nose as I'm laid on the wide prairie for the poor lonely cow. Hey! There's <laughs> Monarch through. Shut the gate. Finest Hereford bull in Arizona. Gentle as a kitten. Cost me three thousand dollars. Look at his family. They ought to sell right now for a hundred a head. Yeah. Let him through. Come on with the others. I want to keep these purebreds separate from the range stock. Pick out a couple of your best men to haze them up to the high grass tomorrow. How about me, Mr. Peters? All right, Twister. Swallow, Buck. Say, Buck, this Twister's a new man. I don't think we ought to... I know, but he seems to know he's three R's. Riding and roping and running iron. Yeah, but I want to put Lucky in charge of this herd. You and Wendy are spoiling that kid. Lucky's all right. Well, the way he's been mooning around here lately. Well, I know, that's why. I want to give him something to keep him busy. All right. But send Twister, too. All right. Now remember, Twister's your choice, not mine. Howdy, Ringo. Howdy. Well, tomorrow's the day. Good. What did Bell say? Never mind, Bell. We'll handle this ourselves. You better get out of here before somebody sees you. I'll be waiting for you on the mesa. Day. Yeah. Quite a ways from your home range, ain't you? 
Bell wants to know when you're coming up after your white horse. She wouldn't trust me with it. I guess she knows you. Maybe she wants to see you about something more personal. Tell her I'll be up after my white horse when I ain't so busy. I'll tell her. Thanks. Grizzly or rattlesnake sting. I'll warble this song as I cash in my string. Oh, what's the matter? Me, maiden. Got the epizootic? What's that to you? <laughs> Love sick, huh? And from what I hear, you got it pretty bad. If you feel that way about it, why don't you pick some gal your own age? I am to make you eat those words. Big talk, Lucky. I'll lay you out so you won't straddle leather for a week. You boys, stop this ever! I guess I did. You licked me fair enough, Lucky. I swallow what I said. All right, shake. Come on. Better you two locked horns now than later on, because you're going to be riding some mighty lonesome places together for a month or so. Driving slow. Don't want the half run off them. Remember, they're breeding stock. Yeah, I know, Mr. Peters. Good cowpoke. Yeah. Puppy, you're not sending me out there because of that, well, that fight twister in my head, are you? No, not exactly, but I want Buck to know you're a man enough to put on any job, Lucky. As far as your fight's concerned, if you want to fight about a girl, that's your business. But if it was somebody more your age, you know, the right girl, then I wouldn't say anything. I get it. Don't worry, Hoppy. When the right girl comes along, you'll be the first one to know about it. I'm trusting you, Lucky. You can. And take care of them cattle. I wouldn't trust that twister as far as you could throw a bull by the tail. I give you credit for having more horse sense. It ain't a matter of horse sense, it's Buck's orders. Eh, you keep them two hombres together two or three days and nights and something's bound to explode. Quit worrying about it, Wendy. Lucky can take care of himself. Not again a shot in the back, he can't. Bet's two dollars. I'd lose even if I won that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, well, what are they worth to you? Forty dollars a head? No, they're worth sixty. I'm taking chances. Oh, no, I'm taking the chances. Beef is just meat at the mines and railroad camps where I got contracts. I'll give fifty, but I'll lose money. It's a deal.
right? Yes. And, and thanks a lot. Ow! I, I guess I did turn my ankle. Well, that's too bad. And my horse. <laughs> He's plumb gone. He was scared. So was I. So was I. Ouch! It's worse than I thought. Looks like one of us ought to get the lady home. It's quite a ride to Gunsmoke Canyon. My mother is Belle Starr, and I'm Jackie Starr. Oh. I'll see that she gets there. Up you go. We'll have to take it easy riding double. We'll make it by dark. Make camp up on the mesa. I'll see you there tomorrow. Yeah, having a storm like that at this time of year. Yeah, we have unusual weather. Just tell old Mother Nature how to run her housekeeping. She just contrary as any other female. Hope nothing's happened to them Herefords. Don't worry about your riders, Buck. Cowpokes is cheaper than registered stock. You're a doddering old idiot. Yeah, maybe that's the reason I keep on working for you. By grizzly or rattlesnake sting off. Oh. Hi there. Hi, Chef. Where'd you find him? Oh, uh, down in the ditch, up in the high grass. There's any stock in the storm, Buck? I hope not. Why? Don't think that star gang's gonna let a chance like that slip by. Wynn, take care of that horse. Ed, throw a saddle on Yuma. Rustler, stampeded your herd and run him off in the storm. I tried to follow him, but washouts killed the tracks. And you let him get away with that? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Peters. But what could I do alone? Where was Lucky? Lucky. He's better at singing love songs than he is at fighting. Run plumb out on me. Why, you lying coyote. Now, wait a minute, Hoppy. You keep out of this, Buck. 
I'll talk to this hombre alone. Come on. I told Hopper he'd be sorry he turned that woman loose. Well, you don't think Lucky... Oh, Buck, you'll never see Lucky that hurt again. You can't talk that way about Lucky. I'll smack your big ears off. Go lay down, Grandpa. You and Hopalong are might soft about that kid. Lucky's only human. Belle, she's smart. That dirt on your clothes is tailing from a mine dump. Where'd you get that blood on you? I must have scratched myself. I don't see no cut. That might be human blood. I see some red and white hairs on your clothes. Herefords are red and white. Which did you slaughter first? A cattle or lucky? Say something! Say something or I'll your brains out! Don't, Hoppy, don't! I'm not lying to you, honest. You're in out on me. What's a woman? Which way? Towards Gunsmoke Canyon. Lucky's here. Lucky. Here, take this gun. If he tries to get away, let him have it. Sit down. You make one false move, I'll plug you. Suppose you didn't know them cattle had been rustled. No. And you're going to deny having been in Gunsmoke Canyon? No. And you did meet up with Bell Star. Well, yes. You see, I went up Buck. I'm going to have to hold him on suspicion. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. Now hold your horses. I can tell you where to look for them cattle. I'm not running away, Wendy. But everything's a guinea. Right, I tell you. Yes, to me and Hoppy can get to the bottom of this. Doing a thing like that makes you an accessory. Well, I'd rather be that than an assassin. Get him to the bunkhouse. Fine guard I turn out to be. I shouldn't have left you out there alone. You couldn't help it. Yes, I could. I didn't mind what you told me. Let him get the jump on me. But that twister can't do that to me. You'll see. <laughs> Chip off the old block. Ain't he, though? <laughs> Say, I got the doggone this good mind to fire you. Yeah? I bet you two dollars you don't. <laughs> that money was worth anything, I'd take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> You sign this warrant, and I'll bring Lucky in. Bar 20 always takes care of her own troubles. Hey, Buck? Hoppy's plumb right, Sheriff. This isn't the low-coast cow outfit in all of Arizona. Buck, we've sure got a fine reputation. <laughs> See the sheriff and Why, I. Why, Lucky? Follow me. Well, what do you think of your stuff? Too many sleepers and slick airs. Why haven't they been branded near Mark? We've been kind of short-handed. Cattle don't multiply that fast. Is that all the thanks I get? I sent you a check every month. I don't owe you anything. And I don't want my ranges used for stolen stock. You've changed. Yes. And I don't intend to get mixed up with the law again. back in a hurry. He's in trouble. Mark 20's herd's been rustled. Sheriff Holly thinks I was in on it. 
And there's no hideout for you here. Oh, but Mother, please. Get off. You mix up in any gunplay? Well, not yet. Ringo, take care of the horses. And bring back a hacksaw. Here. They must have gone up in there. Hey, Hoppy. Yeah? What's that? The dead rattler. Head shot off. Mm. No wonder it rained. Son, I know just how you feel. I felt that way lots of times. Hmm. This old bang pot's more dangerous in the butt than it is in the muzzle. You sure took a lot of chances, Artie, when you pulled the trigger. You certainly did. I want you to ride right back to the bar 20. Nope. When I start, I finish. I'm going with you and Wendy. <laughs> but you'll be more help to us there. Come here. See this? Yeah. I want you to watch that big mirror down there on the wagon on the corral. I want you to keep it clean all day, every day. And if I flash against it with this, you yell for Yonka Buck and the boys and tell them I come a smoking. All right, Hoppy. I won't fit you this time. <laughs> you just proved that you might in there fit in the man's size boots, Artie. You better take this horse with you, too. All right. Hoppy, if you know as much about women as you do about kids, you'd be the daddy of a whole herd of little toddle alongs. <laughs> I haven't seen any of your grandchildren running around here. Say, do you know anything about any mines in these parts? Well, I know where there's a couple of holes in the ground, but I wouldn't call them mines. That is, unless I wanted to sell them to a chump. But you just grub stake me, Oh, and I... forget about the grub staking. This one's been worked considerable. What are you driving at? Didn't you notice that dirt on Twister's clothes? Dirt? Yeah. Mine tailings. Sure. Well, there's only one mine in this neighborhood, and that's petered out. Uh, we're going prospecting. Well, what about Lucky? I know where Lucky is, when we want him. Come on. Well, anyway, the sheriff accused me of Buck Peters. He suspicions me. For all I know, so does Hoppy. Not if I know Hoppy. If I'd have thought first, I would have come here. I don't aim to get you in no trouble. Thanks. 
Well, I reckon I'll be riding. Where? Oh, I don't know. Just riding. You're gonna stay here, Lucky, until Hopalong comes for you. Well, I couldn't do that. Thanks, anyway. Do I have to make you mine? Oh, you darling. You're going to tell Hoppy your story, and I'm going to back you up. You got into trouble, not because you disobeyed Hopalong's orders, but to help Jackie. So it's up to me to get you out of this. We don't want Cassidy up here. We? What have you got against Cassidy? You think I don't know why you're keeping his white horse here? Why you're protecting this kid? You want Cassidy to come up here because you're in love with him. Hop along, Cassidy's the only man who ever did anything for me, asking and expecting nothing in return. Only for him, I might have been in the Nogales dance halls right at this minute. You know, Dan, there are two kinds of love. One's the kind where you give blindly, not caring whether your acts are right or wrong. The other's built on respect. Understanding and affection. It's quiet, deep, and big. It lasts, like those mountains over there. Just as simple and strong. And if that's the way Jackie loves Lucky, she's going to have the chance that I missed. I ought to feel sorry for you, Belle. If Cassidy knew the way you felt about him, he'd laugh right in your face. Let me tell you something. No woman's ever going to tie him down. His gun's still in his holster. Who do you suppose done it? I know who might have had plenty of reason. I won't need no warrant to bring Lucky in on a killing charge. Pack him out. See bar 20 from here. Yeah. Say, so, hey, this would be a great place to signal from. You damn tootin' it would. What's that? Let's go take a look. Black lime. It's the last of Monarch. Well, we know where to find the rest of the herd now. Where are you going? How long have you been selling dressed beef? Get off on my property. You got no authority to come spying around here without a search warrant. Hurry, Trimmer. Move over there, Hoppy, so I can perforate that polecat. You satisfied, Mr. Cassidy? We found your slaughter pit, Trimmer. Well, you can't prove nothing. The only reason we can't is because Twister's dead. That storm kind of covered up your track, so I guess you win. But the next time we come, it'll be with that search warrant you asked for. Too bad you ain't in that butcher pit getting a taste of what old Nick's got in store for you.
Where is he, Bill? Who? Lucky. And this time it's murder. Less than three hours ago. Why, he couldn't have. He's been... He's not here. What's this? Keep out of there. Lucky. Yes? Take the white horse. Ride for bar 20 and hoppy. You know. Cassidy's found the slaughter dump. Who did this? Why? My daughter, Jacqueline. You'll wear that thing out, Artie. I've flown orders. Hmm. Well, what in thunderation you aiming to do with them? Oh, if you hear me bang or hammer or toot, all you and the boys have got to be able to do is to. Ride and fight and shoot. <laughs> All right, Artie. Anything to keep you from getting in more mischief. You know, Hoppy? Yeah? I've been a pig-headed fool. Takes a mighty good man to admit that, Sheriff. What do you say we bury the hatchet? Fine. Sure glad I didn't hurt Lucky no worse. Yeah, so am I. But I still think you're wrong about Belle. Could any woman be as bad as you think and have a daughter like that? Ah, you just stop worrying your pretty little head. He'll get well. You take old Dr. Windy's word for it. What worries him worse than the bullet is, is he sprained his uh, stracoliliac. His what? His wishbone. Shaw. Sure. You can't kill a bar 20 rider that easy. If he's as good as I am when he's as old as I am, you'll be lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll be Mrs. Lucky. <laughs> Why, say, I've been shot by arrows and bullets, froze by blizzards and toasted by patches. I've been tortured, carved, and scalped. Cheyenne Chief knocked all my teeth out in a hand to hand duel. So that that happened at the Battle of Bull's Tail. Did I ever tell you how I captured 50 wild Indians in a hand-to-hand -hand battle all by myself? No. How'd you do it? Surrounded them. Don't believe the old liar. How do you, how do you feel? feel? I feel better, but I'm mighty hungry. 
What you need is some nice thin soup. What he needs is a good thick steak. Do you want to kill him? Do you want to starve him? Who's the nurse? Who's the doctor? Please, just bring the food. Ringo's gone. I intended to bring him in for questioning. Can't find hide nor hair of him. He's taken all my punchers, every one of them. Bell, how'd you like to have a new foreman? You mean... Sure, me. Hoppy, I can't... I want to take a look at your herd. You better come along with us, Sheriff. This is a fine how-to-do. How am I going to get beef to meet my contracts? How many do you want? 200 head. I'll get them for you. How much? 50 a head and prime stock. You're robbing me. Besides, if Cassidy catches me with Russell's Cassidy stock... Cassidy can't identify these steers. You've got to have them on the hoof in case of inspection. And I'll deliver them here tomorrow morning. No brands and no earmarks. No brands and no earmarks. All slick ears and sleepers. Wendy? Still got that Mexican coin? Yeah, Dad, burn them. Let me have them. What do you want with them? You want to invest them in the cattle business. You going to what? Sure, give them to me. <sighs> Bell, you and Holly keep this punch from spreading out. One day, I wonder if you can ride as good as you used to. Darn tootin' I can. I learned you have a ride. Let's get in there and cut out the fattest steer we can find. Fix a few of them like this, and all we got to do is find one of them in Winkler's Corral, and we got the rustlers right where we want them. It's a good idea. All right, let him up. isn't it? No. Oh, it's beautiful. What? Say, Belle, did we come out here to look at the scenery or look for cattle? If I had your disposition, I'd do something about it. <laughs> I love this spot. When I was in prison, I used to dream about it. How it looked on a morning like this, wondering if I'd ever ride here again. Look, Hoppy, the rocks are more beautiful than any flower. All the colors of the rainbow. And they never wither. When my time comes, that's what I want on my grave. Not flowers. <laughs> the way it looks now, Belle, you're going to live to be a grandmother. Well, you're human after all. I thought you had ice water in your veins. Oh, well, there are a lot of people who think that. Well, your sleepers have been rustled. And their trail leads right off toward Winkler's. Then your idea is working. Yep. Huh.
Stick this and what's the stamp mill. You know what to do. I'll meet Buck and the boys at the edge of the mesa. Here's a horse. Hoppy! Don't go, Hoppy. But, Bell, I... Oh, I'm not thinking of myself. It's Jackie. Oh, no, Lucky. If there's any trouble at Winkler's, Ringo will ride this way. But Buck won't know where the trouble is. Somebody's got to go. Let me go, Hoppy. No, Lucky, please don't go. You can't. You're in no condition to go up there. Oh, I'm all right. Don't you see, Hoppy's my one chance to square myself? With you and with Buck and the boys at the bar 20? Give me a chance, will you, Hoppy? All right. Well, watch yourself. I'll make it. When a woman meets the right man, that's all that seems to count. Artie, you ain't at your dinner. I don't want any. We got chocolate cake. I don't want any. Now, see here, young man. You're going to eat your vittles, or I'm going to know the reason why. Come on. Get them steers. Well, uh, I bought them from a nester up on the west slope. I'll look them over. They ain't marked. This nester don't belong to the association. Ain't got a brand. And you got nothing to worry about. Open that gate. What's that? Just a Mexican coin. But it's enough to put you and Ringo in the pen. Whose idea was that? Hopalong Cassidy. And he's got your job now, Ringo. 
These cattle belong to Bell Star. I was with Castine when he tagged him. You're both under arrest. Well, we're at the end of our rope. Now you'll have Cassidy to deal with. Yes, and I'll make just as good a job of him. You go back to the house and look out for Jackie. I'll meet them here. We'll meet them together, Hoppy. I'll get some more guns. You think this is the 4th of July? I saw the signal. It talked to you in trouble. Come on, fellas.
Hold your fire. Cassidy! You're the one we want. If you're man enough to come out, the women won't be hurt. No, Hoppy. It's our only chance, Belle. It won't save us. But you're hit. Oh. oh, it's all right. Are you coming out, Cassidy? He's not coming out, Ringo. Come on, boys, get him. We'll take him into town. You all right? Yes, but Mother's hurt. Bell. My sweet. When we're young, we dream. Such wonderful dreams. But life's so short. Dreams turn to ashes. You won't let it be like that with Jackie, will you, Hoppy? I won't, be. I'm glad it happened like this. Quickly. With everything as it should be. Fox of Arizona. As you said, Belle, they're more beautiful than any flower. And they last forever. <laughs>